Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. I'm in beautiful British Columbia, Abbotsford, BC. There's a GoFundMe, Democracy Being Challenged in Abbotsford. Today, I'm in front of Dave Sadu and Andy Sadu's newspaper, De Caprutra. Dave Sadu was a city councillor, and his dad and him owned this Caprutra newspaper. It was Dave Sadu that blocked the UFV to load his best friend and fraud the election, Ross Siemens, at, the cha at UFV. Andy Sadu said, I never did that. My shithole son did it. It was the RCMP's wisdom and knowledge that if his son did it, he should report him. One, it wrecks your career. Two, you're caught for what your son did. And three, it's illegal and nobody's supposed to be doing that. But they did it to load Ross Siemens. So let me explain what I'm doing at the newspaper. Dave Sadu is going to call the election to run in the MLA position for his longtime buddy that said goodbye, Mike DeYoung. Mike DeYoung said goodbye after 30 years of an MLA. He packed his shit and he fled too. He's trying to go over to the federal conservatives. So it's so disgusting as a liberal to go over to the conservatives, you should have went and headhunted the NDP. So I want to elaborate on Mike DeYoung first here a little bit. Mike DeYoung is going to get the nomination for Pierre Polyad's federal conservatives. I was told and given firsthand with this right ear of Mike DeYoung would never get to sit on the federal conservatives MP position, period for all the anguish and garbage he's done in Abbotsford. From his illegal party on Bell Road, from not helping Abbotsford residents, from helping his buddy Henry Brown block the election, knowing the Abbotsford police were running threats, knowing Councillor Mogels, when he ran for mayor, Henry did this, knowing what Henry was doing, the federal conservatives people have made it clear to me that Mike DeYoung will not be getting that, period after all the shit. They said he can put his name in a million times and go get all the illegal sign-ups and everything he did because of the stuff with Marcus Dalvis, Dave Sadu, and what he did. This is a democracy. They said he won't be getting that. Abbotsford residents and me are going to address registered letters to the party, voting party that selects you and gets to look that if you can be a candidate with the locked-in information of of the election and everything Mike DeYoung was doing here in Abbotsford to make sure that that word is just not a promise, but that word then becomes a guarantee that Mike DeYoung won't be getting that. So that's out of the federal conservatives' mouth after everybody did. But not only should he not be getting that, if you look at his track record of this garbage man, of what he done, never mind the illegal party where nurses were losing their jobs and he was throwing that to endorse his buddy, Dave Sadu. If I get Dave on, Dave's newspaper will get me the Indo votes. Not only that, Mike DeYoung not only did that, Mike DeYoung, everything he touched for the last years, almost went in bankruptcy. Everything he was in a part of, of the government position he was given. He almost destroyed everything. He was a complete disaster. So what are I doing at Dave Sadu's newspaper. Dave Sadu, his dad, Andy Sadu, is running around right now phoning everybody, please, we're having a big meeting. We all need you to come out and support Dave Sadu. That means he's going to call the election if Andy Sadu is picking them phones up to phoning people. So let's talk about Dave Sadu. The man who allowed Henry Brown to call an Indo woman a dumb brown Hindu cow in order to cover up houses that he knocked off the mountain. A man that stood by where the Abbotsford police targeted through the election. A man that used his dad at UFV to block me as the mayor candidate, thanks to the RCMP, that's, that's locked in proof. You can even hear UFV's threat on audio. To load his buddy and his scam, Ross Siemens, to help Henry. So what do we have? We have, not only that, we have Vicky Hopes of the Abbotsford News who was doing this when I ran blocked. So we have election massive fraud problems. So let me allow that about Dave Sadu. When Dave Sadu ran, 
here as the city council in his newspaper. Not one time has this man stood up for Soji, where his Indo people were protesting week after week and day after day with families. This man, his own people said, this man is supposed to be a father and he disgusts us. Now he's calling on our doors. Please, uncle, please, uncle, please, uncle. Not only that, he didn't stand when they stood the farmer protest on Modi. And he didn't stand for Soji. He didn't stand up. Now he wants your vote. He wants your support. But more than all, he wants the money. They said his dad's been phoning around, and I heard previously today on a conversation on loudspeaker where his dad, Andy Sudhu, phoned begging for his son. We need, we need this, we need this, we need this. That means that the NDP would have to run somebody strong and smash him like Gupreet Rai or Suki Dam or pick a headhunt these people. But what do we have? We have Vicky Hopes knowing that Corky Newfelt is running in Mike's riding because Mike packed his shit and left. We have Vicky Hopes knowing that James Davis called the election in Mike's riding. And in today's newspaper, Vicky Hopes is running interference thanks to the RCMP, they said. We found that for you. No James Davis is promoted. Running interference. She's running interference on the campaign, on the MLAs. Not only is Vicky Hopes doing it, we have another lady that's doing it. A very high, well-known lady, Alex Mitchell of the Chamber, hosting only the BC United, Mike DeYoung's team, like Marcus Dalvis, and only hosting them in the Chambers. So what does it call for? Let me tell you what they did to load the election, and I can make that with proof, because that's why I saw the federal conservatives. When it came night of the election, Gabriel not only would not give me the election list and the by-election, because Bruce stepped off, Gabriel wouldn't let my scrutinies in. He said, you go F yourself. They didn't let the scrutinies in to see who, how that election was run. The RCMP said that was illegal. Not only did Gabriel not do that, Gabriel went around taking my signs down off of private property to help Ross. Why was he doing it? Because Henry ordered him. Henry ordered him. And he was using uniform. And then Gabriel did all this blocking and figured under the uniform, Gabriel would never get called being a piece of garbage trash man he was. They were loading the elections. Not only did Gabriel do it, the Abbots for Police then ran interference. And they ran that interference to help Henry, sitting at my house, pulling me over and doing everything. These low-down, life, worthless men have to run this interference for this election. It's not an election. It's scams on scams. And you can see it right now. You can see that Mike DeYoung's announced everywhere and promoted day after day in the newspaper. You can see Marcus Dalvis everywhere on every on everything from the chamber to the to the Indo chamber. And you can see their selected teams doing this. But what you can't see is you can't see the other candidates for the BC Conservatives. You can't see Corky Newfield being hammered around. You can't see Rianne Gasper over in Mission being hammered around. You can't see Bruce Bamman being hammered around. You can't see the Independent being hammered around. James Davison because they were running interference. They're impeding the election and they're doing it for their friends. The BC United, which is the BC Liberal, Mike DeYoung, Dave Sudhu, Ross Siemens, Alex Mitchell, Craig Toes, Henry Brown, Ed Fast, and Mike DeYoung. We're all the shit box in the nest. It was Darren Brown that brought me here. When Dave Sudhu brought Diverse, Henry's partner, Rob Funk, staff in here to help him on the election. Let me tell you what Dave Sudhu was doing. He was using these people in here to phone the phones on the other candidates and jam them. So the people would phone and say, can I vote for you? That way the phone got a busy signal and they were jamming them phones on the other candidate. Just keep dialing the guy's phone. Andy Sudhu said it clear at UFV when he hauled me in here after his son threatened. He said, I never did that. My shithole son did it. Today, Andy Sudhu proves 
to the Indo community that you did do this. Not only did they do that, there's many people that have been stood up for Soji. There is a, what's his name here? A uh, well-known gentleman here is James Davis. He's been protesting that. There's the Taylor lady that spoke with Soji. And then there's Pierre Barnes, who's been with Soji and spoke. But Dave Sidhu saw his people for 31 days put a protest on about the families in Soji. And not one time did he stand up and speak about that or come out. His people said to me today, when they put him on loudspeaker, his dad calling and begging for a vote, this guy's garbage. This guy is not even a Canadian. He's garbage. And he'll go in any bed and anywhere he can go to sleep. I said, I warned you when he did that at UFV. And this is what he did. So for the other candidates that are running, I expect like Bruce Bamman, Corky Newfit, Rianne Gaspert, and James Davis. Here's what they're going to do to you. Mark my words. And it's going to be watched so their face can be all over my channel, just like Andy Sadu and Dave Sadu is. They are going to get the Abbotsford police to take your signs. Gabriel's going to host you out. The Abbotsford newspaper, Vicky Hopes and Ken. Miles will join here and they can call it the United newspaper with this garbage newspaper, this half broken down rag. They're going to jam you each and every way. How I got that first hand information, I had very, very, very good help. Thanks to Darren Braun, Henry's own son. Thanks to the RCMP. Thanks to Ed Fast Daughters, and thanks to the people that were behind. They're going to impede the election to help each other. They're trying to impede, right now, the nomination to help Mike DeJong get it in, the federal conservatives. Abbotsford, here, is the Fraser Valley of the stronghold of the parties. And this is what they're going to do. They need to load the establishment over everybody else. What are I doing here after I heard Andy Sadu begging for his son? I'm standing here to tell you this man never spoke about family, Soji. This man never snuck up when an East Indian counselor that ran against him said this to me and to witnesses and to other people. He said, I put my name forward to run in this election when the mayorship was on against Dave Sadu. And we asked him why. He said, this bugger promised us all to come out and look at development sites that we were being and trying to get permits for our families. When he got elected last time, he just walked away because Henry basically told him, they don't come. Rob Funk comes, Dave. They don't come. And Dave Sadu did this to his own people. He portrayed them and did this. So the counselor said he put his name forward to run against this garbage man after what he did. So you imagine that man and all the votes that he pulled, now telling his South Asian and East Indian people, I ran in the city election against this man because he did this to us. He wouldn't stand up and when he said, let me, I'll be there for you. Now, they're gonna go against him, hammer him. He's like a cockroach. Not only do you gotta stand on him, you gotta twist and put him out. But what he did in that municipal election at UFV, calls for Dave Sadu never to be trusted in anywhere. Not only does that, Abbotsford residents and me are pushing full tilt to not only have him disbarred and charged, but the body of law to take its course because this is a democracy. Nobody's allowed to impede the elections, block the elections. So I expect Vicki Hopes to get down on her two knees and cry and write an article for Dave Sadu and promote Mike Dion. And this is what they need to do. They're impeding the election. They're giving the other candidates the head over the BC Conservatives, over the Independent. There's massive speculation that Gapreet Rai is going to run. There's massive speculation Suki Dam is going to run. They should not be impeded. But nobody knows how many Independents are going to run. People are talking that me, myself, are going to run against Mike DeYoung if he puts his name in. The federal conservatives said to me in a recent call that Mike would never get the green light after all the shenanigans and garbage he's done on this town with Henry. Nobody impedes the elections. Nobody plays with the democracy 
and nobody's allowed to gather and break the law because that shame then comes on the federal conservatives of what this douchebag did. The man was just disgusting. This is what the Chamber of Commerce was doing. The Chamber of Commerce, Alex Mitchell, recently, they made an article that they were going to join the other Chamber of Commerce, Mission Langley and everything. That Chamber of Commerce then would drive their names even how further. Oh, please help Dave Sidhu. Oh, please help Mike. Please help that. The Chamber of Commerce in Chilliwack, in Mission, in Langley are going to be meeting with me and Abbotsford homeowners and see the elections and see everything they've done. And they're going to halt it. This is the establishment. Dave Sadoon knew what he was doing when he picked up that at UFB and asked his dad to do that garbage, filthy act. He knew what he was doing when he was elected to council to keep honesty and be there for his community. He wasn't. He went in the establishment. So to Dave Sadu, your dad got caught on the phone today begging, please, please, please. So what Dave Sadu did, he used his dad, figuring my dad's an older guy, Dad, please call. They won't say no to you. This is what Pam did when she brought David Eby in. David Eby, please speak for me. They won't say no to you. I made it clear with Abbotsford residents, thanks to the RCMP. My hands reach across this Fraser Valley in every home, in every office, in every place, in every restaurant. Wherever he gathers, whatever, if it's in the Himalaya restaurant, wherever he is, my people will be there because they love what I have done for Abbotsford residents and stood up for seniors. They will live stream that and give it to me and it will be out in no time. This is what the other parties got to look forward to. They got to look forward to this garbage scam. So how do you beat them? How can Dave Sadu even get elected? Henry's got to go through the back doors to the new police chief and to his brother Irwin and to the garbage he was doing and ask the Abbots for police. We need you to run interference majorly. We need you to pick up them candidates. We need you to charge them candidates. We need you to stalk them candidates. We need you to follow them candidates because he needs Dave Sudu in. And he needs Mike DeYoung in. But what's the most Biggest thing for Dave to do is how does he look his own people in his eyes and say, please vote for me when they were on the street protesting with their little kids about Soji and about the farmer protest and everything that's been happening here. And not one time did he help him in his newspaper or did he go up there? He turned his backs on him. So I'm asking the South Asian and the East Indian community and my friends, I'm already leaned in and guaranteed to stop this cockroach and block him, and block him and his dad. This is utterly disgusting, what he did. He played in a democracy to help his garbage friend, Ross Siemens, to be loaded and frauded so they could fraud your taxpayers' dollars. And this is what they're going to do. They have to crawl. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm at Andy Sadu's Capriccio newspaper. And Vicky hopes, I suggest that you Andy Sidhu and Dave Sidhu and Ken in the newspaper get together and you merge and you call it the Abbotsford rag now. The old rag would be the best way to go, Vicky hopes. Live, Abbotsford, British Columbia.